let's now look at cross join the way cross join works is uh, here each record from the first table is combined with each record in the second table so it combines each row from the first with uh, each row from the second table and to see that we have this example from the docs where we have table a with these two records and we have table b with these two records now this record let's say for one a is matched with both of these records and we see that here in the output and likewise the second record that we have in table a is uh, again matched with both of these records in table b and we see that here in the output in the query the way we would write that is as follows we have this uh, same table a as we saw earlier and we have the table b each of them with these two columns w x and the b with y and z and these values there to perform a join we need to say from a cross join b and this would be one table this would be another table now when we perform the join uh, let's run this query to see the output we should see each record from table a which is 1a matched with each record in table b which is 2c and 3d so all of these are matched as we see 1a is matched with 2c d and again the same record is matched with 3d same thing goes for the record 2b from the table a matched with both of these records in table b now the cross join also works if we specify the syntax using just a comma and not writing out the words cross join as we see down below where we have a comma b what that tells us we are performing a comma cross join and as seen here if we run this query we should get the same output as before where we have uh, the each record from column uh, sorry table a matched with each record in table b and that's what we see here or the a is matched with both the records here and again this b is 2b is matched with both the records in table b let's now look at another example that we have also seen previously which is the roster and team mascot so here we have the table we have roster and team mascot now previously in inner join we saw that because the school id 77 not was not present in the school id team mascot when he did the join on the school id this record was not there in the output and similarly 53 was not in roster and so this record again was not in the output however in case of cross join what's going to happen is each of these records all these records are matched with all of these records and so adams would appear with Jaguars, Knights, Lakers, and Mustangs. At the same time, Eisenhower would also appear with each of these uh, team mascots that we have. So let's run this query and see what we get in the output. And to do that, what uh, I've written here is select roster last name and team mascot dot last name. So we are pulling only uh, last name and team mascot from the join operation so we are performing uh, cross join as below from roster cross join team mascot and when we to run the query i'm going to select that and run it and down here in the output we see that as expected the adams player is matched with all the team mascots in the table team mascot and that includes mustangs at the same time we scroll all the way down we should see eisenhower which is this player and that player is matched with again all the records or all the team mascots in the table team mascot and finally as you might expect 
we can also try using comma cross join where we are simply going to say from roster comma team mascot and when we run this query we should get the same output as we did before uh, where uh, the player adams again is matched with all the team mascots that are there and including mustangs and again eisenhower is matched with all the records that are there along with uh, as well as uh, mustangs so we have four matches here for each of them because we have four records in the table team mask so that was it for cross join uh, if you have any comments or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below until then please like share and subscribe thank you